Hi, Norman here again. Uh, this is June 2021 and uh, I need to tell you where I'm up to with the Abracadabra exhibition. Um, so let's get right into it. So I did hundreds of drawings um, and then at some point I decided I need to get a little bit organized in my mind about which I was going to develop. So I put them in folders. Um, tried to put drawings into different categorized folders. Heroic Mothers, Beach, um, Construction Workers, Couples, and so on. Um, so I put them in folders. And the ones that came to the top, I decided to, to try and work on. And to help me in my mind so that all these ideas weren't just flying around in the ether. This is a little sketchbook page of a really provisional idea of the whole exhibition with larger works and medium works and then small plenary works. Um, and then this is my selection board. So um, this is the whole thing. So every time I have an exhibition, I try and devise a way of getting an overview of all the works that might be included. And it's impossible because each of these thumbnails, as it were, is a painting in progress and it's in color and it changes and they're on different scales. And so you can't really get a true overview of the exhibition, but this helps, this helps. I can come in there and say, think, what have I not worked on and what have I not developed? And also they're in categories, which is kind of helpful. So for instance, this uh, Heroic Mothers, this is the last drawing. And now I'm letting myself loose a bit on some paint. So this is um, the development of that idea. Just not worrying about color yet, because that's uh, colors takes a lot of thought. And at this stage, I start to incorporate older works too. I look through things that might fit in with the current themes. So this is a painting I started maybe five years ago. And these are little ones I did um, trying out different textures on my course using the same imagery. And because this theme of the girl in the city and the somewhat oppressive male presence of these men in suits. Well, it fits in with some of the stuff that I've been looking at lately. Like um, this is an image I've been developing in Photoshop. Uh, so I included the man behind her and then a man in front of her and then making the man bigger. Um, and then here I'm, I'm drawing from that, making the man on the left even more um, imposing and maybe a diagonal of an umbrella sort of slicing through her and this man really close and so I'm trying to get a feeling of the vulnerability of a female presence in the city so this is including um, previous works so also uh, so this painting here I really just wanted to get painting that's one of the things I wanted to do so this is a a real bit of fun color. It's developed from, if I just go, excuse me, here we go. So this is developed from photographs that took a long time ago and putting a few together. It doesn't matter if they don't match up perfectly, just slamming a few photographs together in Photoshop I'm making a composition out of it and then simply gridding it up and um, develop it into a painting. So it, it's on that theme of construction work. So it was allowed that I just make a, a quick painting because it's on the same theme. Um, but really, the more figurative aspects of this theme are developed here. So again, using Photoshop to put various figures together. For me, it has meanings of, um, well, you know how ladies get together and 
talk about personal problems and private issues and delicate things. Well, men have a diff difficulty doing that. So this is um, trying to bring these masculine construction workers into a sort of intimate scenario. Um, so another theme that I'm beginning to reintroduce is the beach, um, the psychology of figures on the beach. This reminds me of Degas painting, young Spartan boys and girls exercising. So it's very much about a male and female relationship. Um, there's a gentleman there with a mobile phone taking a picture of a girl. So it's about the psychology of that and another version, um, which is all these males, the young boy and the, the man on the left and the right are are looking towards the mother and child figure in the center um, who's arriving on the scene. Um, there's another beach theme developed from this drawing to this little study of the family, the mother and children walking along and then just recently on the same scale as the previous paintings this man looking at them. So he's the observer, he's like the male who may be connected to them or may not. He may be the father or he may be just somebody looking at them. I don't know why, but that's the sort of psychological stuff that I find interesting. Um, so, oh yeah, so this is um, some of the heroic mother's theme. And this shows technically some of the progress of paintings from an acrylic underpainting and then the outlines redefined in oil, just thinned oil to do the drawing, and then developed more in colour and reworked. So, um, so these are on the theme of the heroic mother. And another big theme I'm starting to think about working on again is um, something I started when I was working with Zoe Frank in her workshop, which is um, a, a battle painting of, of my boys in the garden. So these are drawings from photographs of them reenacting battles in the garden during lockdown. Um, they love to fight, and it's always a mystery to me uh, why they would want to fight each other. It doesn't really make any sense, but I've got to reconcile the fact that that's part of what boys do. So from these, I started to put together ideas of composition of a triptych. Um, and then these are on tracing paper and different variations on the composition. And then I did a bigger version and these are just in acrylic. And then this is where I'm up to so far with um, very small colour ideas. So hopefully this theme will get integrated into all the other stuff and it will make some sort of, not coherent whole, it won't be a coherent whole, but I'm not really interested in that. I'm interested in doing the best paintings I can individually, but it's really helpful to work in series. It sort of gives a validity if if an idea has come back to you and back to you and back to you three times, even if it seems a crazy idea and you're reluctant to explore it, if it's come back three times, then you can assume it's, it's pretty important. Um, so that's where I'm up to. I don't feel like I've made massive progress, to be honest. I've been doing all sorts of other stuff, plein air painting and juggling galleries and things, but um, hopefully it'll be more progress next time. Thank you.